versus Muffin. Muffin, um, I've seen him play this matchup before versus Roz. Uh, Roz Makazi, I'm not sure if you know him. He goes yeah, yeah, Roz, yeah. Yeah, he goes to the... He's like 818, right? Yeah. Or like... Like, I, that. He, like he's like he, in the, like the more hat northern area. area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and Muffin, uh, he looks... Er, he seemed very experienced at this matchup, so it's going to be interesting to see how he plays it versus Razo. Dang, Razo opting for the Daisy. Why, though? Damn, he, he got hit by, like, a turnip. 18%, baby. Whoa, that's wild. <laughs> And he got hit twice and he's like, what turnip was that? Jeez. Probably the Winky Face? I think the Winky Face was like 18 or something Dang. like that. Dang. Is Winky, is Winky Face the one under Dot Face? I, Probably, right? Not entirely. I don't know. I yeah. don't know. <laughs> well, actually, yeah, we, we wouldn't know. But, it, dude, 18 is a lot. Right. Oh, yeah. So, one thing that Lucas is strong at is controlling horizontal spacing. Oh, yeah. So, because PK Fire is just so darn good. And he can throw it in the air. It's not like Ness's where he throws in the air at angles. His just goes straight no matter what. Yeah. So um, Razo, as you can see, has to be very careful of how he does his like short hop floats. Oh, damn, he tried to get, tried to snipe him. He would have died too. Oh, he super would have died. He would have super died. But yeah, the, the low floats and like the short hop floats, Razo either has to float high or find another way around PK Fire because it's going to be a really strong tool in neutral. And even Zer just controls that. That, like, Zer cancel thing the Lucas can do is so weird. It is weird. Like, it, it happens so quick, and no one ever expects it, right? And then when people use people like get hit by it, it's just so weird. Like, <laughs> we it's haven't super, seen it enough for it to be common in our heads. It's super hype, and it's interesting, but, like, at the same time, I'm kind of just like, oh, this is literally, like, getting chic fared. Yeah. So it's like... Yeah, I got hit a lot, but the main thing is that I'm scared of is not the damage, it's more of like the positioning I yeah, got put exactly. in after. Okay, gonna get some more damage here. Oh, is he gonna gimp him with that? Oh, oh he missed! The oh, oh, dang! Oh. Juke the freeze, I hit you with the fire! <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, he just kinda just got hit by that. I realize when, when Razo gets to, when it has an opponent at kill percent, and honestly this goes for a lot of peaches, they just like, they can just throw that out, you yeah. know? They can just do it, and if it doesn't, if it, if it misses, they can just do it again. Like, it's Is, cool. Isn't it wild that short hop fair auto cancels for Peach and Daisy, but short hop fair for Charizard doesn't? R.I.P. Charizard, man. Poor Charizard. Actually, no, not poor Charizard. Dude, Charizard got shafted. So I mean, he's he's no, he didn't. He's attached to I, he's attached <laughs> to Ivy and Portal. He's he got fine. upgraded. He's fine. Dude. Now he's meta, dude. <laughs> he's he's not like yeah, dude. He has one of the best moves in the game. Down B. It's yeah, ridiculous. Yeah, you're right. Changes just, to just a pretty good character. Changes to Squirtle and then and then Ivysaur and then Charizard's <laughs> the janitor. <laughs> The, oh what! I'm surprised the shield didn't stop that. It, you, PK that, that happens all the time. So it, it throws me off. Yeah. Okay, dang. All right. Well, Muffin playing really well versus Razo. Yeah, definitely is a uh, stock ahead right now of seed number one of the tournament. So, uh, yeah, I mean, you said against Raz, he does really well. Yeah, definitely looks like he knows what he's doing. And um, Raz, a very good player in his own right. But is it me or is our monitor lagging every time Lucas dares to ledge? <laughs> it could be, yeah. <laughs> it seems like it. Like a little split second. Yeah. Oh, wow, the, the jump the call out. The jumps in this game, man, they're like harder to react to because like the, the characters teleport to their top of, like the top of their jumps now. Yeah. Also, Rosso might die here. Yeah. Muffin's shown to be very good at like edge guarding the princesses. Yeah, it's it's just um it can be hard because I feel like they're almost four slow because you got to respect PK fire and PK freeze. Yeah. But then PK Thunder can kind of like, you can throw that down there to cover low, and just get the damage. It probably won't take the stock, but good damage nonetheless. Oh. And there's the fair, the good old trusty fair. Good old reliable. Oh, just catch killed. the turn up. Yep. All wow. of Peach wow. Jesus. <laughs> he just looped a minute, man. He, that was he, he made like a lightning loop. Wow, oh, he's dang. Dead. The he, stick, though. He made like an infinity sign with it. He was like, yeah. <laughs> he drew on him, dude. He did. He drew on him. <laughs> Oh dang! And look at Lucas—he's drawn on him now. <laughs> spell your name. Spell your name on Daisy. <laughs> L U C. <laughs> wow! Man. And that was a pretty convincing game. And like you said, uh, just very impressive edge guarding. I feel like he yeah. got, you know, some stocks, and he got like a lot of damage just off of Razo being off stage. Uh -huh. And yeah, lo Razo looked. Pretty lost in terms of counterplay, like pretty I feel much. Like he, he got punished out of shield a lot. Yeah. Because usually, like, you know, the peaches, the princesses, they love hitting the shield, and then like they like mash when they land because they like they're kind of they're not plus, but they have, there isn't a lot of frames you can punish them. But Lucas right. has some of the best out of shield options, like Nair, uh, uh, Fair, stuff like that. Yeah. It, um, and Muffin chose his spots when he punished. Like he knew 
uh, when something was unpunishable and when something was punishable. So he'd like yeah. roll away or like not try to punish it so he doesn't get re or hit. Wow. Uh, Muffin. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> what happened? <laughs> this he, final I mean, destination. I'm not, I'm not surprised. Here. Like, this is like starting percent versus this character, to be honest. Like, wow. Oh, dang. Uh, he might have still lived. Because so, the, the drift in from yeah. Lucas is so good. So Muffin's starting off this game with two stocks instead of three. Oh mm, my yeah. god! Wow, oh. he almost... If he was, like, not as floaty, he would have definitely got fared there. Fared into, like, Razo going to, for a, a dank side B. Guaranteed. Goodness. Oh, man. Oh my god! Do, do you just start up the next game to give <laughs> Razo net less momentum? He'll already start so he, so he doesn't go into the next... Like, you don't want to get clipped you, you going could, into game three. Maybe you could, like, run away... Stall off the momentum, take like a minute to pick your counter pick, and then just like yeah, ice them. That sounds like some con. I assume that is some con ice con 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 <laughs> Damn, that is. That's like that's like putting a, putting an ice pack on him. Yeah, or just like run away and like think about your counter pick while you're playing. Yeah, because right now it's looking pretty grim for yeah. uh, Muffin. Uh, oh, we're we're, we're what? Don't want to count out Muffin. He didn't. Con wow. I know you can confirm that. Yeah. Uh, maybe not an up smash, but we went for a fair, but he just missed the fair. Ooh, kill I wonder. <laughs> That Yo. was really good. Yeah. What if you like could hit the umbrella and then the umbrella just gets disabled? That would be great. <laughs> that would be hype. Honestly, right? she needs that. To be honest, <laughs> that'd be some like idea. some cipher stuff, right? That's a great idea, Sakurai. Yo, are you listening? Yo, Yo hire me, Sakurai. Two Actually, hire him. <laughs> that would be hype. Game design. I'll just. I, spoilers. I'll just make Fox like super <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. All right. So, Razo with a massive, like a huge lead. Yeah, it's a. Uh, but Muffin right now. Um, if he can turn it up, play a little bit better, and try to like get some data at least for the next game, yeah, would be good. Yeah, that's smart. Yeah. I, I just feel like Muffin, the way Razo has been pulling his turnups, he, he's kind of like playing like he's playing against Richter. Right. He's dead. Yeah. So it's like Richter outranges, like you know that PK fire range. I feel like Razo is getting right outside of that, doing a short hop or a full hop turnip throw. And it's like he's not getting hit by the PK fire, but the turnip's hitting Muffin. Yeah. I feel like that's like his general strategy and what he's using to not get PK fire. Because in general, in neutral, like in game one, he was just getting PK fired a lot in right. neutral. And, and it helps that the first stock of game two, he kind of just like zero, zero to 90 him. Yeah. yeah, zero to 90 him, and then he killed him. Right. So it's like he didn't really have to come in on Muffin. And for the most part, if, they, if there was any stage control, it was pretty much his, yeah. And he could use that to work with, like, oh, let me outspace PK fire, then come in with the throwing turnips, and Grinstar though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad that's not legal. This is an interesting pick from Muffin. Is he going back to Battlefield? He's going to Battlefield, yeah. Oh, going to Battlefield. Well, what was the first stage they played on? Stadium. Oh, if stadium. I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it was either town or stadium. Probably stadium. All right, so game three, we got Battlefield. Bigger blast zones. The tri-platform, of course, layout. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, the stage is, like, pretty big, too. Yeah, I feel like Muffin just has more room on the stage. Yeah. Oof. But he's, he's got to be able to hit Razo right now. I, I feel like just the neutral has been so hard from... Oh, oh you're dead. You're Whoa, dead. Oh, is that a stitch? Oh, uh, come on, yeah, man. Oh, okay. <laughs> Dude, I, I feel like the general RNG for Peach and Daisy are just better in this game. Too. It I, feels like it is. It just feels like they pull <gasps> way more stitches. Oh, dang. Razo is trying to end this man's career Dude, imagine right now. Zero to death, and then they pull a stitch. They, you get zero to death, and you're coming down, they pull a stitch. That's, oh, that's, that's, like, that's stuff out of nightmares, dude. Didn't cross up with the Nair. If that back your hit, I would have quit the game. Yeah, this is... I just, I just feel like Razo is where out nooching him so hard. He is. Where'd all that damage come from on, on Razo? When did he take 28? I don't even, I, I don't even remember. A straight PK fire and some stray straight or trades, but other than that, man, wow, that there was so good. All right, Muffin trying to. Okay, if he can cheese the kill here. Uh, and one, the way Razo used up B right there too, just used it as like an attacking option. That was so good. How do you survive versus Peach at this percent? Never mind. Never mind. He's dead. Yeah. He, he tried to get All a grab right, with the float. Muffin, I believe in you, dog. Oh, dang. Yeah, that I think that was a regular. No, that was a lazy face. I think that's, I don't even know what that's called. But that did, like, 13. Bigger punish. Spell your name. Yep. And goes right back to safety. And Razo is just barely avoiding these yeah. PK fires. Like, and then punishing him for it immediately. Yeah, he's whiff punishing PK fire. Yep, again. 
just trying to go for those whiff punishes on PK Fire, the out of shield, gonna punish that Nair. And right now, Dangerous? Needs the an reaction! Answer. Yeah. That was a read. That looked like a read. That, I don't know. I feel like that had to be a read. It was like half read, half reaction. Yeah. Good. I, I think he just positioned himself and he's like, if he ends up here, oh, dang, all right. He wanted to end him with those two F smashes, but then he just died for it. Yeah. But it's no big deal. He has two stocks. Yeah, really sizable lead here. Okay, up throw. Oh, we went for up throw tech chase. Didn't quite get it. A little bit too slow on that. One thing, Lucas. Gets hit by that again. Kind of lost from the last game. Those throw combos. Yeah. Thank God. God bless. <laughs> Sakurai did it right, man. Took away Lucas's grab combos. And it made him a real character. Made Ryu really bad. <laughs> Just all, all the greatness. Luigi Cyclone's gone. <laughs> Luigi Cyclone, had, like, that was like. Fox was still good. Yeah, allegedly. Ooh. All right. Okay, tilt. Muffin. Muffin's playing a lot better now. If he takes yeah. his stock, it's it's. He's racked up quite a bit of damage, but he needs to seal the deal to get this last stock cooking if right now. He grabs now. him and like in like 10, 20 more percent up throw will do it, or pretty much any throw, honestly. Or if he gets a back throw by the edge too. Oh yeah. That would definitely do it. Oh <laughs> no, no, we had to say it. I was gonna say it, but like grabbing by ledge is super risky. Yeah, and I. And then he did it. And then he he like normal got up, and Razo was like, or he was just like by the edge. And Razo was already clearly in float, and he just kind of threw out the grab. I don't know, maybe.